Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. This is part four of our What the Heck is Inside My Computer series. Today we're going to talk about your CPU. Now, if you think that this is your CPU, you're living a lie. This is not your CPU. Right. Now, this, I know it's small but this is your CPU. This is really the brain of your computer. I know it's kind of hard to grasp. It's the smallest little piece, but this is what controls everything. Um, it's kind of hard to explain in terms of what it does, but let me try the best I can. We've, in previous steps here, talked about all the different parts that are in the computer. All of these different parts, when they try to talk to each other, the, everything passes right here through the CPU. It makes the decisions when you move your mouse, when you see on your screen, everything that happens passes through the CPU. So it's, uh, it's, it's a hard thing to grasp, but I know it's very small, but it really, it does everything. It is the brain. Right, and if you think that part's hard to grasp, consider this, most modern computers have two or four or even six cores. Uh, each one of those cores is an individual processor inside your CPU. So this is an old uh, uh, Pentium chip, so this has a single core in it. This is just one processor. The new ones are about the same size or even smaller, and they have four or even six processors on them. It's pretty incredible. Now let's take a look at exactly how this mounts on the board. As you can see, there's a series of pins on the bottom of the CPU and these line up with all these holes on this little socket right here. Now if you're looking at that, you're going, how the heck do you do that? Well, there's a little arrow right here that kind of gives me an indication that this is supposed to line up with this. We gently just set it in there. It drops into place when it's right. You never ever force something like this. And then the little lever just clicks down and that's it. That is how you install the CPU. There's really nothing to it. Now, in addition, now if you just leave the CPU, because it does so much, it gets really, really hot. So it needs some kind of a fan device, and that's what this is here. This is actually for an i7 core. Uh, we didn't have a fan for this particular CPU, but this is an i7 core one. You can see how big this fan is. Without a fan, your CPU would burn up just in a matter of a minute or so, maybe even less, especially the newer ones when they're mul running multiple cores on them. So. But that's, uh, basically that's what it is. So when you look at, the, look at your motherboard, you see a big fan sitting there, you know your CPU is living underneath that. Yep, and uh, this, this CPU that we're showing here today is a, is a Pentium 4 CPU. Um, if you bought your computer within the last few years, maybe two, three years, yeah. you probably have a Pentium 4 processor. Um, some of the newer ones, the, core, the Intel Core i5s and Intel Core i7s are the new ones. They have more cores, but honestly, they don't look a whole lot different from what we just showed you. Uh, the main difference is gonna be just it, on the back, they don't have all the little pins, they just have little dots and uh, it just sits on top and locks into place and then you put the fan on just like you would normally. So there you go. Now you know your CPU is your computer's brain. So that's really, out of all this conversation, if that's all you take away from it, you're doing great. Um, that's all we have for this video today. Make sure you stop by the site, worldstart.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you go over to World Start. Sign up for our newsletter. We have a computer tips newsletter. All these videos are featured in there. So uh, make sure you sign up today. It's completely free and thanks for watching.